In this problem, we're given this function j of x and asked to determine the maximal domain on which j of x is continuous. Now, while it may look complicated, j of x is just a rational function. That is, it's a sum of quotients of polynomials. And because it's a rational function, we can apply corollary 1.3.28 which states that all rational functions are continuous everywhere they're well-defined. So because of this, we just need to figure out the maximal domain on which j of x is well-defined, uh, because it has to be continuous there according to corollary 1.3.28. Now, rational functions are well-defined everywhere that their uh, arguments are well-defined, that is, the numerators and denominators, uh, except those places where the denominators become zero. So these are all polynomials, so they're well-defined everywhere. Uh, which means that j of x is only not well-defined where any of these denominators are zero. So that means it's not well-defined where x equals minus 2, or x equals 1, or where x equals either minus 2 or minus 1. So therefore, that means that the maximal domain on which j of x is well-defined and therefore continuous is just all real numbers except minus 2 and 1. You, if you wanted to write that using set theoretic notation, you would write r without minus 2 and 1. Or if you wanted to write that using intervals, you would write the numbers less than minus 2. Union. The numbers between minus 2 and 1, union. the number is greater than 1. And there you have it.